I really don't want to give Graham Souness any more airtime than he deserves. But he has to be called out for the bullshit agenda that has been going on with Paul Pogba for years. But this weekend really manifested itself. And for me, he got to sort of the, the next level of dangerous in terms of Souness and his agenda towards Paul Pogba. Because Souness has had it in for Paul Pogba ever since he returned to Manchester United. End of the first season, he said that Manchester United had their pants pulled down because we paid over 90 million. Not even 100 million for him, by the way, that he keeps saying about 100 million pound player. 90 million. And he's continued throughout Paul Pogba's Manchester United co career to vociferously and consistently and constantly slam Paul Pogba, even when he does not deserve the criticism. And as I said, this weekend, after Man United's 5-1 win against Leeds, it got to a different sort of level of danger. And in this video, I want to call out Sunis for the bullshit agenda that he keeps spreading. I it's honestly... time to go! <laughs> about Paul Pogba and exactly why I'm annoyed about it. Because somebody has to put Sunis in his place. As a, a commentator on Sky, it's his job to be impartial. He's far far from it. Popper was absolutely insane against Leeds. Four assists he got. He only got three in the whole of last season in the Premier League. There's only a handful of players in the Premier League who have ever got four assists in one game. Surely, Graeme Souness is going to compliment Paul Popper after that performance. No. No, I don't think I will. No. Um, for me, yesterday, the start of the show was Greenwood. I, I, you know, for a young boy, I thought he was sensational. <laughs> Pop was at four assists the week. <laughs> no, we expect that from a hundred million pound man. Okay. I was going to get round to the point that they spent seventy odd million on Sancho. Maybe that might be something to look back on. I think do we need to spend that money because that boy is a player, he's a finisher, and you know I think he's going to be a top player. Hold on. Soon as here is saying that we should expect one hundred million pound signings to get four assists in a game. So what? We should expect them to get hundred and fifty two assists in the Premier League in the whole season. No, Mason Greenwood was brilliant, but Paul Pogba got four assists. Bruno Fernandez got a hat trick. The agenda is so fucking. It's so embedded in Graham Souness that he cannot give Paul Pogba a compliment. Being blinded by that ignorance is why. It is dangerous that he is allowed to just say what he wants about Paul Pogba. So look, sometimes Sunas makes fair points about Pogba, about criticisms about his game, and they're criticisms that I would also have. But he doesn't balance it. It's all negative. It's all one side. It all fits his narrative. And therefore, if there's any sort of positive, ah, he's not going to take it. Hell, look at this game there. 5-1 against Leeds. He gets four assists. Now, nah, we should expect that from him. Jack Grealish goes and makes his debut for Man City. £100 million man. They lose 1-0. He gets zero assists. You don't hear him getting slated for not getting four assists because it's outrageous to suggest that a £100 million signing should get four assists just as much as it's outrageous to... Have a go at a player for not getting that. And it's the lack of parity that pisses me off. I understand if people can criticise Pogba. Of course they did. I've criticised Pogba plenty over the years. But Souness, for me, is dangerous with his words. He's driving a toxic narrative that is steered towards one side of the coin that doesn't look at the other. Sky have a moral responsibility as a company, although Andy Gray and Richard Keyes, they kept them there for fucking years. Maybe they're just going to do what they want with Sooners. They have a moral responsibility to make sure their pundits do. Not toe the line, but they stay in the middle. You can present both things. There's nothing wrong with criticising players and anything, but it, it, instead, Sky just continued to give him a platform, and no one really... It's almost become an in-joke. It's funny how much he hyper-criticises Paul Pogba by it virtue of other players and that's just wrong somebody me you i'm sure you all have but I, I can do a video about it I want to call him out on that because it's outrageous and it's not like you need another example of it but this here from micka richards sums it up look just watch it you know it's, it's micka richards questioning why paul Pogba is getting treated differently to how harry kane is his agent might have done the talking, but he, he's not he's not done anything. He's just gone out there and tried to do the best he could possibly do. And Kane, Kane the same, that's what players want to do. But I've never heard him say... Do you he, think he, the he, agent actually, speaks without the permission of the player? Do you think the agent just I, I talks actually do. I actually do. Not a chance. I actually do, De chance. definitely. He's echoing the thoughts of the player. No, he'll be echoing I, I, the thoughts of the player. Yeah, but even, but even, can, if, even if he is... We, even if he is... No, even if he is... Even if he is... from Man United, we haven't got much Michael, time left. We talk way. about Liverpool. Let's put it this way. <laughs> if, if your agent comes out and says three or four times, I want <laughs> you to, you know, I want to get Paul a different club, 
Paul does enough interviews to be able to say, look, my agent's out of order, he's got that wrong. He's never said that either, has yeah, well, he? He's not, he's not gonna. he's not going to do that, though, is it? You wouldn't do that with, with, with your agent, would, would I you? I didn't have an agent, Micah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, Micah well, had four agents. Me, like, <laughs> my strings weren't being pulled Let's, by anyone, I was a puppet. No, I'm we're not. Watching, we're watching Manchester United next week. We'll talk I'm, a lot more about them on no, Super Sunday next week. No, but I'm only mentioning it because it's similar to the Kane situation. We, Kane's not turned up for training. And we're calling him a saint. Pogba's never said he wanted to leave Man United, but he's getting abuse. That what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the difference? Paul, Paul, My Paul, information about Kane, it's not that he didn't turn up for chain. There is another story behind that. Can Who's we move on? Him? Talk about Chelsea or Liverpool, please. Should we part that there? Yeah? Well, we're here to be neutrals, yeah, so... Yeah, OK. Look, so this situation here, that what Micah Rich is there arguing fairly and rightly saying, look, if that was Paul Pogba in this situation, he'd be vilified. Oh, my God. Imagine what Souness' response would be if Pogba refused to train. It would be nuclear. Instead, with Harry Kane, ah, oh, it's my information that, cool, yeah, you've got, you've got a justification as to why Harry Kane's doing it. And this is it. This is the, this is the crux of the fucking issue. If you're going to treat Paul Pogba like you're treating Paul Pogba, you do the same thing with Harry Kane. You do the same thing with Jack Grealish or... Raheem Sterling or any other player in the Premier League that you want to criticise, you give it the same level of scorn that you give it towards Paul Pogba. But you don't, Graham. Just Pogba that gets that treatment. Right now, Harry Kane is refusing to train with Spurs to try and force his move to City. Let's just brush it under the carpet. Let's just ignore the fact that that's happened. Because Harry Kane, man, he's fine. He's Harry Kane. Nice. And the reason it is dangerous is because it's got hugely racist undertones whether you want to admit it or not it really really does and therefore it drives a toxic narrative that right now that forever we, we do not need and we do not want and that is why Souness's constant agenda towards Paul Pogba by comparison of other players is so dangerous it has to be stopped it's not a laughing matter it's not like Roy Keane and his personality he's just funny it's not like Gary Neville and he's just a bit funny it's dangerous and this agenda it's it's personal it's way past professional it's got nothing really to do with Paul Pogba as a footballer anymore I just think Souness just hates Paul Pogba as a as a person, that's how bad this agenda is, is getting. Because on a weekend where he gets four assists, Graham still can't call him man of the match. On a weekend where Jack Grealish doesn't do anything, he gets away with a little pat on the back. That's his debut. That's all right, let him play. In a weekend where Harry Kane refuses to turn up to training with Spurs, it's all right, Graham Souness' inside information has justified that. But nah, when it comes to Paul Popper, he's going to go elbow from the top rope against him. It's bullshit. I'm tired of reading it. I'm tired of hearing it. And I'm tired that other people aren't calling him out on it properly. Micah Richards is doing it there. Well done, Micah. Look, I thought you were a bit of a joke of a pundit at the start, but you're growing on me. Fair play. Graham, you need to grow up, man. I don't know what it is. I know what I think it is. And it's just dangerous. Grow up. Criticise players when they deserve to be criticised. And praise players when they deserve to be praised. That's your job as a pundit, not to drive a narrative that you really want to be true so much that you continue to do it. Stop it. Sky have got a responsibility to stop it. Graham's an absolute weapon. And that's it. I just wanted to say my piece on, on, the, on those comments from Graham Sooners that I saw after the, and before the City and Spurs game. Nah, man, you can't just say stuff like that and not expect people to respond. And that's what I'm doing. You let me know what you think about the Graham Sooner situation in the comments below. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, maybe you did, because I'm slating saying Graham Sooner, which he deserves it. Make sure you subscribe down below. But please let me know what you think about this whole Sooner and Pobber situation in the comments. Because for me at this point now, as I said, I think it's dangerous and something has to be said that can hopefully steer change towards making sure it doesn't happen. Something needs to change.